Ahoy ye joyous folk and welcome to the channel and welcome back to the gates of Argonath and uh, I used this setting previously to show off the different uh, armor upgrade visual changes for the Woodland Realm campaign. Uh, so here I am once again with the Kingdom of Gondor and uh, I've set up a bit of a, a mini battle for the end uh, against the forces of uh, a couple of our chief enemies in the future. So I'm starting off with the Territorial Guardsmen. This is their basic. Then they have two tiers of improvements to their appearance and uh, they look very nice I think. I like the black coats. Now the Gondor Militia, they look very much the same throughout, so nothing much to say about that. My favourite <laughs> unit, perhaps, Lamadon Clansmen. Uh, quite tricky, because they can hide anywhere, but they get that pauldron on their right shoulder, and they get a new helmet, and look very fancy. The Anvilas Pikemen, they get a minor upgrade to their chainmail, and get some kind of shoulder gear and helmet, very nice. Uh, the Benin Marines, as we move on to them, they get a few different upgrades, and it's quite hard to actually um, note what what changes with them. But they do seem to get some kind of hauberk for the second tier, and then for the final tier, they get these uh, straps that go over their shoulders, which I think, particularly that that third tier looks fantastic. You do get a general that starts off with them. Uh, I've forgotten what he's called, Orodreth. Uh, yes, but. I haven't used him at all. <laughs> Moving swiftly on though, the Archer Militia, they get no bonus upgrades. Uh, the Black Group Veil Archers though do, they get uh, a couple actually, so they have that uh, almost like assassin looking uh, <laughs> feel to them without any armor upgrades. Then they move of course to the more well known in DAC version uh, with the well, the darker colouring, and then they get a final upgrade where they get a coif going over their head, which I didn't really notice until I did this video. And uh, Athelian Rangers, they look the same throughout. But then once we get to what you'd call like the main line, so this is all pretty much post-barracks event, unit, event units from this point onwards. So we'll be seeing these guys a lot, even though we've already seen a few of them to this date. But the Gondor Spearmen, uh, Gondor Infantry, Gondor Archers, and Gondor Cavalry all share the similar kind of upgrade progression, where they get, um, they get obviously, they've only got the helmet on, then at the first stage of the upgrade, then they get some added armor uh, for their shoulders and hands, and then for the final tier of upgrades, they get the uh, chest piece. And they really do just look absolutely fantastic. This right here is why you want to play as Gondor, I think. You get that, like, army is made up of just these core units, and it just looks fantastic. The Pinath Gallic Cavalry also do have a few minor upgrades. They get that pauldron. We, of course, have seen them with Hiraluin up to this date. Yozgiliath Veterans. Now, this is going to be Boromir's his general unit in the future versions and they are one of my favorite units i think they get uh, of course they look very worn out uh, in the first stage uh, and then for the final tier they look they suddenly become more and more professional which is alluded even to the point where if you look at the shields from the back um you can see that this is like them in their full grandeur perhaps when you've like upgraded Osgiliath, gilead like um and then they fit very nicely with the rest of your roster rather than being a ragtag bunch. But if we move on then to the Lasarnak Axemen, they also have three tiers uh, of armor. So they look quite uh, rustic at the first tier. They just look like Axemen, but then they kind of just upgrade naturally to the same level as the rest of your armor. I particularly like those crossed axes on their chest guards that they have. But something I was very... Very surprised and actually really pleasantly surprised. I didn't think that the <laughs> General's Bodyguard was going to have an upgrade unit or upgraded uh, visual appearance. But this is absolutely uh, I, amazing. I really like the look of this. Really, really do. And it does look like a few of the units that are to come, uh, which many of you may have uh, known about already. So, uh, but before we get to that, 
Wardens of White Tower, of the White Tower, they of course get no upgrade. They're already very highly armoured. And the Guards of Osgiliath, they too don't get any upgrade. I thought I'd just add these into the video regardless. Citadel Guard, looking the same either way. Minas Sithil Guardians, can't wait to get these guys in the fight. Very good unit from only Minas Sithil and Fountain Guard equally uh, look the same throughout. But uh, the general bodyguard, general's bodyguard, of course, here you can see the Sons of Numenor. You can only get them, I think, from Fornost Rhine, from the Hall of the Kings. And that is the, I believe, the same kind of armour that uh, is used for the general. So there we have it. And um, I really can't wait to see all of these units in action. It's going to be fantastic. And this... Uh, this episode, or this video rather, should go out just before tomorrow's video, which will have the first um, episode of the barracks event. So whilst I might not immediately get all these units out there uh, with these armor upgrades, this is like, a, uh, this is like to come. Uh, <laughs> and um, for any of you that haven't played Gondor before, then, or didn't know that you can actually unlock these up visual upgrades well now you do all you have to do is uh, upgrade your blacksmiths to a certain tier and then you will see these visual upgrades once you have retrained them there and uh, okay well I'm gonna put on some uh, questionable if a little bit epic music on in the background and we'll just see me slaughter a few uh, I think there's some great beasts here I don't know but thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I hope that you follow along with the campaign as we march on. And hopefully we can take out some of our enemies. There's so many. But anyway, I am going with Gandalf. Good day. <laughs>